Hey fam, it's your boy Matt and we're back with another video. Now, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, mainly because I'm sick. Super tired, I don't really have the energy to do anything. But um, I live in a timber house. And I live by myself, so, you know, it needs to, it needs to get heated up. Um, I have pain in my throat. My eyes are raining, I don't know if you can see it, and my nose as well. So, do not feel like doing anything today. I feel like like playing Nintendo Switch, just sitting in my couch or in my bed or so. But we've got to go out, at least make a fire. I made a fire before, and I will have to fill it up with some pieces of wood. And we have to go down, get the machine, and uh, basically just uh, pick up some wood. Uh, just pick up the amount that we need. And after that, we have to... Um, uh just uh fill up the fire and just like keep keep uh, keep the fire going because you should um, i'll 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 just uh show you guys later but so, long story short you heat up water you have the water going around in in the in the floor heating and in the uh, in the radi radiators or or the, uh, the heaters in the house it heats up the the temperature you don't have to use as much electricity uh, my family owns forest, so we get our own firewood. So that's good. The thing is that we have three different tanks. They're all like 700 liters each, uh, which means that it's 2.1 uh, thousand liters, uh, 2.1 cubic meters of water. And you usually have like one tank open during the summer because there's no point in heating up a lot of water, you know, if we don't need to sustain the heat. But now, since it's cold, we need to heat up warm water so it keeps the heat uh, for a longer period of time. And the first time you heat up the water, like the first time of the year, it takes a long time because there's so much water that needs to heat up. So you can like, just make the fire and it keeps going forever and it feels like it doesn't do anything. So I'm going to be home for two days. I might as well just work on a fire at home. I can film that and uh, uh, just going to explore like editing on my, on my laptop. That's basically it. Tomorrow evening, I might have to go pick up an engine for my Miata. Just because I made the deal with the guy. And I'm just going to sit in the car, we'll see. But uh, with like the restrictions and all that stuff, you, you got to be careful. Um, so someone had was sick at the office and now everyone's, everyone's basically sick everywhere. But, you know, it's not only at my workplace that, you know, it is like that. So anyways, um, let's go down to the uh, fireplace and I'll show you guys um yeah i'll just show you guys how it's done so the fire's almost out i have some leftovers here which are gonna last me a little bit as you can see there's one two three tanks and those two are usually torn off um so we need to heat up those so all these are gonna be heated up and you can see there's gonna be a lot of fire doing so that's uh just gonna fill it up like uh, these uh, firewood depends on how we pick it up since there's so many, is there, the amount is so big now in the winter with the firewood you like the machine. We're just gonna put everything there that I have here for now and then um, go pick up some more so we can refill it. So, of course, didn't film it when I picked it up. We're basically gonna fill this one up with some firewood, and uh, once that is done, we're gonna park it outside of my my house. And after that, we're going to um, park the truck in the garage again and fill up the uh, fire heater with the firewood burner. And that's basically gonna be like the biggest task of the day. So.
so when you dry with these now, it's important that you just like, take it slow, don't rush. Because um, if you drop these on the ground, it's going to be a lot more work. And I'm basically <clears throat> using all my energy that I have for this day. I'm pretty much exhausted already, so now I'm just going to drop this off. Back in the garage, I just keep on this uh, from time to time today. And that's basically good. I think this is gonna be like the whole video. I want to put out something every day, and I just had to do this regardless. So, I might as well just get something out of it, you know, other than keeping the house. So, going up there. We're gonna repaint that house next year. It's gonna be white and nice. It's gonna be super fresh. But for this winter, it's gonna be just like that. Right now, it's it's cold, so that like there cannot be any water damage until like spring, and then we probably just have to like go up and on the house and just um, unload the snow. So we're just gonna see if we can drop this thing off like here. I'm not really that good with driving this tractor, all I know is that when we drive these farmer tractors, they're uh, a bit more, uh, a bit less flexible. All right, so now this one is fully loaded. The fan is off currently because we set the heater to 80 degrees. So basically whenever it reaches 80 degrees, it shuts off. So we make sure that the fire does not uh, spiral out of hand. And what happens then is it takes all the warm water from this one and just try to flush it out to the rest of the system. Once the, heat, uh, the temperature has gone down to like 60 here, the fan will go back and it will keep going on and off like that. So, that's basically it for this video. Um, I've got to do this now every three hours, even though I don't feel like it. The painkillers and all that stuff, it's starting to wear off a little bit. So perfect timing. I'm going to go inside. I'm going to eat. I'm going to drink something and just keep on hitting these things all day for the next coming four days. And then uh, at work weeks, I have to work weeks, I have to get up and do this early in the morning. Then my brother has to stop by and also like do this and we just like keep it warm you know like we're, we're, we're gonna have to f do the fire like crazy for like a couple of weeks then it's gonna be like steady at like 70 so then we you can if you if you're sick you don't have to like do it for one or two days but just to keep the heat but we just have to like push the heat up right now um it's gonna take a lot of firewood but you know that's how it is to live on the farm one day of the life you know this is what i will probably do is hi uh, you know uh ice plunge ice bath and uh and you know taking care of the farm so you know it is what it is but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video stay healthy don't get sick like me i'll see you tomorrow peace